NFL superstar Tom Brady has accrued a whole lot of accolades, rings and haters throughout his career. The quarterback is loved by many, but it appears he's rubbed some people the wrong way. Here are the celebs who aren't cheering for the former New England Patriot. Tom Brady is great. He's been great for a long time. And anybody that hates on him is just a hater. Terrell Suggs fought some epic battles against Tom Brady and the Patriots while he was playing for the Baltimore Ravens, and he's never been one to sugarcoat his feelings about the golden boy. He once said via the New York Post, I don't like him. He doesn't like me. I don't like his hair. I don't like his smug attitude. During the first game of the 2008 season, Chief Safety Bernard Pollard hit Brady below the knee, tearing the Patriots' ACL and knocking Brady out for the rest of the season. At the time, the hit was legal, but the following year, the NFL instituted the Tom Brady rule, prohibiting defensive players from hitting quarterbacks at or below the knee. And Suggs wasn't here for that. He said, one guy got hit and changed the whole rule for the NFL? After the Ravens' 2010 overtime loss to the Patriots, Suggs had a few choice words about the team, to which Brady replied, They talk a lot for beating us once in nine years. In December 2006, Tom Brady and actor Bridget Moynihan announced they were splitting after three years of dating. Then, Brady and model Giselle Bunchin quickly became an item later that month. Curiously, the year before, when Brady came up in an interview, Bunchin told the Boston Herald, He's cute, but there are too many men in the world to go after a man who has a woman. While Brady was moving on with his new model girlfriend, Moynihan announced in February 2007 that she was, quote, three months pregnant with Brady's child. Moynihan has claimed that even today, she's struggling with the effect the media had on her life, telling Build in 2019, Those moments were kind of stolen from me by the paparazzi. Brady opened up about the situation, telling Howard Stern in 2020, it was very hard for my wife to think she fell in love with this guy, and now this guy's ex-girlfriend's pregnant. And it was very challenging for my son's mum because she didn't envision that either. During his storied 18 years in the league with the Raiders and Packers, Charles Woodson won the NFL Defensive Rookie of the Year, the NFL Defensive Player of the Year, was selected to nine Pro Bowls, and won a Super Bowl in 2010. Still, he blames Brady for robbing him of a second Super Bowl back in 2002. Stop. Stop right there. Roll it back. It happened in the infamous tuck rule game, where Woodson stripped the ball from Brady late in the fourth quarter, but the fumble was overturned by officials due to an obscure rule. The call allowed the Patriots to beat the Raiders and advance to the 2002 Super Bowl to begin their near two-decade dynasty. By 2013, 29 of 32 NFL teams voted to eliminate the tuck rule. Woodson told the NFL Network in 2014, if they make the correct call, which they did at first, then they overturned it, this 10-game playoff streak that Tom Brady has, it never happened. Tom Brady owes me his house, everything, because they overturned that call. That's the worst call in the history of all sports. In 2012, Brady was a 13-year veteran and three-time Super Bowl winner. And Richard Sherman was a candid cornerback in his second year with the Seattle Seahawks. Their feud began on October 14th of that year, when the two teams met after coming off playoff seasons the year before. Sherman later recalled of Brady's on-field trash talk. He looks up at the scoreboard and looks back at us. He's like, uh, come see me after this win. So. After the game, they didn't win, but I still came and saw him. <laughs> and see him, he did. As a dejected Brady walked off the field, a photographer snapped Sherman, letting some post-game trash talk rip. Sherman tweeted that pic with the caption, You mad, bro? Sherman said via the Daily Mail, I think people somehow get a skewed view of Tom Brady, that he's just clean cut, does everything right, never says a bad word to anyone. We know him to be otherwise. Well, Tom Brady is a little more talkative on the field than a lot of people may be led to believe. <laughs> but Brady was ready with his own response to Sherman. He said via ESPN, My dad taught me at a young age to play with class and respect, and certainly I have a lot of respect for the Seahawks. In 2015, the New England Patriots were accused of deflating footballs during the AFC Championship game against the Indianapolis Colts, sparking an NFL investigation that was quickly dubbed Deflategate. 
Brady nearly took his four-game suspension to the Supreme Court, but ultimately decided to call off the appeals process. Obviously, this was a touchy subject to the entire Patriots organization. However, prior to the Super Bowl, Obama White House Press Secretary Josh Ernest took a jab at Brady over his public relations skills, or lack of, when the Deflategate story broke. I don't know what happened. I have no explanation for it. I don't know what happened between the time that I touched it and, you know, really till Monday morning, I have no idea what happened with the balls. Ernest said during a briefing, The one thing I can tell you is that for years it's been clear that there was no risk that I was going to take Tom Brady's job as quarterback of the New England Patriots. But I can tell you that as of today, it's pretty clear that there's no risk of him taking my job either. After the Patriots won the Super Bowl, Brady skipped the visit to the White House, citing a so-called family commitment. During the event, Obama doubled down on the jokes. I usually tell a bunch of jokes at these events, uh, but with the Patriots in town, I was worried that uh, 11 out of 12 of them would fall flat. While the joke was met with a few grumbles, it looks like that's a point for the former president. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.